And welcome to this uh, Qtile system. It's uh, 906 Qtile. And this video is here to tell you not to update. It's June 22 and um, there is a new Qtile release. So we could have a look and see if we can find it. Qtile GitHub. And when releases come out, oh my God. I agree. When releases come out, there is a reference to it. So 14.2, two days ago, and it reached our Arch Linux and of course, Arco Linux repos. So it always takes a time, which is normal, before it actually hits our own repos. Arch Linux, and we have the packages. And here's the keyword. The keyword is Qtile. So we have a release on the 21st. So yesterday went to bed, woke up and people report, hey, don't update. So Qtile has been updated while I was sleeping. So June 21st, a new Qtile version 14.2, correct, All right? 14.2 has been um, released. Now, it, I believe it has been already reported somewhere. This one is the message from 20 hours ago that actually it fails to build on Arch Linux. So during packaging blah, 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 for Arch Linux, I'm again attempting to run the test suite while it still hangs in general. I have the following failures. So at this point in time, for uh, us just noobs, we just can't run this version of Qtile. That's basically it let those guys figure it out. So there are two scenarios. One, you did already an update and you're screwed. You don't have Qtile anymore, it doesn't work. Or two, you've just in time to see uh, the message on Discord, the message on Facebook and the message on MEWE. So you know not to update. How do you prevent the updates from coming in? Because there is this PAMEC uh, indicator that's red, all red, and we do want to have um, other things to be updated, right? So let's um, open up cute, the PAMEC updater. Another thing that can be said about this PAMEC updater, it changed. It's completely different, kind of different kind of look. These colors are not coming from the theming, as you can see. So they have their own color sy system now. We'll have to live with the changes they've made. But basically, we should not upgrade this guy. So that's the one we should not be updating, right? So how can we do it? Different ways. Let me think if I can actually do something in here. Refresh, install preferences, maybe. Let's have a look since they've changed um, PAMIC AOR, the way it looks anyway. Ignore upgrades for so we could actually try to f see if we can type here something or no plus maybe never done this really So let's see We probably should scroll. Oh my god. We should definitely scroll Q tile is the one we don't want to be updated uh, Okay Here you are. So that's a little guy now. I'm gonna go to super shift return what i would have done not fire this way but fire this way i would have gone to uh, pacman.conf and would have opened it with sublime text that's the way to do it because that's the file that's gonna say exclude me something up here you can say ignore the package so <coughs> i can say forget about Qtile. that's basically what I'm telling here, ignore the package Qtile. So Control Z, what happens if I say in here, not in here, in here, ignore Qtile, choose. So Qtile is no longer in here. And as a result, of course, the backend, let's have a look. As a result, uh, PAMAC changed our pacman.conf and it says ignore Qtile, which is the same thing I did 
via a graphical user interface. So normally I would just do this, but since the PMAC AOR is, uh, PMAC is new, I thought, well, why not see if we can do it like that as well. So all we're going to update now is these three guys and that's it. We're going to apply it and Qtile is now warning Qtile. That's not a warning. That's, that's, that's a choice, right? Qtile ignoring package upgrade. So we st stay on the old package or the old version of Qtile. Everything will work and we'll just sit it out like they say, wait for the updates um, to be working. And that's when we'll give a message to you again, say, okay, Qtile can be updated or upgraded and everything works again. All right, so that's one thing, scenario one. The other scenario is that you've already broken system, then you're pressing Control Alt F1. So let's just try to uh, show anyway, it's, it's gonna not gonna be graphical, but if you do Control Alt TTY, so F2, F3, F4, F5, or all TTYs, you see a black screen, you, they ask login and you log in, and then you say, I'm gonna downgrade Qtile. And you're gonna use not version 14.2 because you know that's gonna break it. You're gonna use the, for, uh, the version 13. And then um, after that, it's gonna ask, should I add Qtile to the pacman.conf to be excluded for future updates? Yes, you say. You sudo reboot this thing and you'll have a working Qtile again. If you're on VirtualBox, then the Control Alt F2 and F1, etc., is not working. It's the right control that's working and then F1, F2, F3. So that's the one to get in the DTY in VirtualBox. So that's it. That's um, all you need to know today about Qtile, but to, tomorrow it can be another application. So this is general knowledge, general management of packages. If a package comes in and the updates is not working, downgrade it or just don't update. So two scenarios. All right, enjoy.